All right. So I was on a mission to track down uh, the best neck knife option, at least for myself. If you guys agree, your motivators. But uh, I was looking first at a couple good options from Tops. Johnny Post Production will roll some of those in. And uh, I was really impressed with the cat knife. Uh, check the video in the history on that one. And uh, it had a great sheath, great blade, 1095 carbon steel. But uh, thinking about it, I didn't want to pursue that type of steel due to it is prone to rusting. So I looked at H1 steels and it is a nitrogen based steel so the matrix is reinforced with not carbon which is prone to oxidation but nitrogen so that's where it gets its hardness from and h1 is a precipitation hardened steel so this steel is naturally hard without any heat treatment so uh it's good to go uh, being that it's not prone to oxidation uh, it can be known as the actual stainless steel knife so I was curious to see how that fared, so I wore it every single day. I went with this one, the Spyderco Arc Knife. Johnny Post Production will roll in some moto pictures while I fucking keep talking. So this guy, I'll throw up the specs, it's incredibly light, insanely light. So much so that you barely realize you're wearing it, and I'll touch upon that again later. So I was wearing it for a few months, I'd say. I don't recall the exact date of purchase so if you could Johnny post production hook us up see there we go so I've had it for a few months I've wore it every day showers gym sweat no rust very impressive and I've had it in the sheath the whole time and uh, there's really no no more I could say about the pro of purchase for this uh, it's immune to corrosion so you don't have to worry about pitting uh, but a downside could be that the steel is basically the same edge retention of 440C, maybe 154CM. So uh, it's the lower end steels it has the same retention as. And uh, at first I was looking, I was pretty intrigued by the fact that it's a work hardening steel. But the more I read into it, it does not harden being the edge, the Rockwell hardness of the edge does not harden with normal use, like I eat cardboard, just paper. Uh, it actually takes extreme speed, I eat belt grinders. So that's just debunked. So it's not work hardening. If you read that, keep reading further and that'll be negated. But uh, yeah, the edge has held good enough for what it is. I keep it on my neck. And it was originally designed to be worn anywhere. Always ready knife. ARK. And, uh, yeah, I'm impressed. So an extreme downside of this knife. Let's check it out. Is the lack of knife. This fucking sheath does not hold the blade in at all. Uh, like I said, multiple showers, toweling off, that fucking thing just rips off out of the sheet, falls. So I was just able to track it down there. But uh, I was going running, and I came back, and then the next day in the shower, I realized that I have the sheath on the neck, but no knife. So the knife was not retained by said sheath and is somewhere i couldn't i went back to the track couldn't find it probably some fucked hard picked it up it has a new spider co so 65 dollars for a great knife hence the name the paradox because you buy with research into a knife that has great materials pretty motivating looking design lightweight and you get it with a piece of shit so, way to go, Spider Co. A uh, horrible knife. I would not recommend this to anybody until they fix this gaffed off sheath. It's a waste of 65 bucks. I'm sure so I'm not going to buy another one. I'll probably go with the tops and just fucking oil it. So, uh, yeah, figured I'd make this quick little video to deter you from this inadequate purchase until they fix it at least. So, uh, let me know what you think. Err.